why I'm quitting trademark law to do kitchen renovations. Hey everybody, my name is Marcela Dominguez. I am so excited you're joining me today in this kitchen renovation video and I'm introducing you to it because I thought it would be fun to share why I'm quitting trademark law to do kitchen renovations. So a couple of weeks ago, we actually had two leaks in our home and it was very, very frustrating to say the least because we were on opposite ends of the house and we basically had to end up tearing everything out. And we thought, well, if we're gonna have to do that, then we might as well just plan the kitchen that we've always wanted or that I've always wanted really, and sort of customize the feel, right? Isn't that every female's dream to create their custom kitchen, make it just the way they want it, have the colors they want, the cabinets they want, the hardware they want. So what I have discovered during this entire process is that planning your dream kitchen or a kitchen that you're really, really going to love, it's sort of like creating a piece of art. I mean, designing a room that is so used in your home is the equivalent of being an artist and kind of creating a new piece of art. Every time you create a new piece of art, you get new ideas, you get to pick the colors, customize the look, the hardware, the texture, the feel. And so I'm really excited about doing that. And that's something that I don't think gets expressed enough, like on these HGTV kitchen renovation shows or the home renovation shows is just how cool it is to be able to customize something and how much that can feel like an art form in and of itself. So for those of you that think that I'm just a trademark lawyer, I also like to create art and do fun artsy things on the side. Does that make me an artist? Well, question mark, right? I mean, that's completely subjective. I think everybody's an artist in their own way, but being able to design a kitchen or plan a home or be a home builder, be in the construction business and the interior design business really allows you to be expressive and creative with how you want things to look. And so I think it's really, really cool that now I'll be able to do that in my home and bring you guys along. As you can see, there's a lot of work still left to be done, but I'm really excited to share the final product Product with you. So am I going to quit trademark law? Well, I don't think I'll be quitting because I really love working with entrepreneurs, artists, anybody who has trademark and copyright issues. I mean, I love, love, love working with business owners, but this is like a whole nother type of art. We don't have an interior designer for this project. And so I am picking all the finishes. And so you can be the judge of my artwork once it's all done. And of course I'll share it here with you, but you have to subscribe so that you know when I release that video, which hopefully should be in a couple of weeks. What sort of feel am I going for in here? Well, I'm definitely inspired by other photos and images that I've seen. I want it to be like a European earthy country kitchen. So an earthy European country kitchen. That's the look that I'm going for, sort of French country earthy kitchen. So let's see if it turns out like that. Does that sound achievable? So what are the materials that I'm considering using right now? Well, I really love lime wash paint, lime wash tile, cement tile, earthy tones like taupes, soft grays with a lot of contrast. I also love moody kitchens and moody rooms that have a lot of contrast, really dark, deep tones. So you'll have to follow along for the final look to see if I'm able to successfully combine moody colors in an earthy kitchen. ever quit trademark law to become an interior designer or to do home renovations? Well, I don't know that I could ever fully quit trademark law because like I said, I really, really enjoy working with business owners and with creatives. But doing these types of projects, I have realized that it is definitely within my realm to be able to take on these creative projects 
and continue to infuse art in a different kind of way in people's kitchens and allow them to feel extremely comfortable and happy in their own homes. So I love the idea of being able to give somebody else their own custom kitchen by getting feedback from them about what they love and what they really want and helping them manifest that in their kitchen. So what makes a contractor a strong contender for a project? These are my thoughts to myself. You know, build a really good team of reliable subcontractors, be professional, be respectful, and really do a good job executing on a client's creative wishes in their kitchen. Give them the kitchen that they're gonna love or a home that they're gonna love that they really feel comfortable in. And that's something that I feel confident that I could do. And like I said, I really believe that this is like an art form. So I'm excited about potentially serving clients in a different creative capacity. I'm getting my feet wet and getting experience and doing that in my own home. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. And then you guys can also help me decide if this should be an Airbnb or if I should actually live in this home. And then who knows, maybe after that, I'll invite you into my kitchen and cook for you and show you what I'm doing. Do you think that I should quit trademark law because there's more creativity that can go into construction? And interior design? I think that in this lifetime, it's really important to really explore your interests. This year will be a milestone birthday for me, so I definitely want to look back on my years and say, wow, that was so fun. I'm glad I tried it because I realized that I love it for this reason, but I don't like it for this reason. Maybe I should do interior design instead of being a contractor. Or I'm glad that I invited people into my home because maybe I gave them inspiration to go out and to do that one thing that they never would have been willing to try. So as you know, if you've watched this playlist on my channel, I'm all about inspiring potential entrepreneurs to go out and to build their dream life or to just take a risk today, even if it's a very small one. Take that very first step to start a business that you've thought about for so long, but never actually really had an action plan, I need to take my own advice. And if I really enjoyed this process, for me, it's kind of like having a coloring book. And then you get to pick the colors, the design, how the whole project is going to look. And then once you live in it, you just feel so comfortable like, wow, this is made for me. And after looking at so many homes the last couple of months, a lot of which look the same because these days, you know, in certain developments, a lot of the homes are sort of cookie cutter. I've realized that what I personally love in a home is the fact that you customize a home by making special touches to it. I feel like that truly is what makes the home your home. Because right now it's a home. Is it your home? I mean, sure, you can put in your furniture, you can put in your paintings, but what truly makes it your home is the ability to customize the colors and the palettes, or maybe you want a smaller pantry, but you want a larger fridge, or maybe you just need a bigger closet space. Maybe you want a large dining room and a large kitchen island, and that's all. So I think that these small touches are very personal to people based on whether they host parties, or maybe they're just somebody who likes to cook for their family, or maybe they loved that trip that they took to Europe one year, and so they're inspired to have a kitchen that reminds them of that memory. So I think customizing a home is very personal and it's different for everybody. So whether it's a flip or whether it's a new home and you're just adding special touches, I wanna to invite you into mine so you can see what I've done and tell me whether or not you think that I would make a decent either interior designer contractor or just specializing in kitchen and home renovations. But I think it's really easy to fall into that trap of like, I've never done this before. I would never attempt to be a contractor or an interior designer for my own kitchen project. I don't really want to take the risk that it's going to come out ugly or that I'm going to hate it. So I'm going to hire somebody. And I think that's sort of the thought process that a lot of people have is I'm just not going to take the risk. I'm never going to go out and try something new because I need to stick to what I know. But the truth is, is that everybody starts at zero. They start at the very bottom. Nobody is an expert at the beginning. And in my situation, why wouldn't I be willing to experiment on my own home? Because then who am I going to get mad at? I get, I'll just get mad at myself and I'll take responsibility. If I don't like my kitchen, if I don't like my living room, I made those choices, so I have nobody else to blame except myself. 
I can only be mad at myself for maybe not having explored other options. But at least when you know better, you do better. But if you never try, how are you gonna know better? So maybe this video will also inspire you to go out and try something new today, something that maybe you didn't think you were capable of doing, but maybe circumstances have forced you into that situation and you've learned something new and you'd be willing to grow this business or to put yourself out there a little bit more and to explore what this would look like if it was your future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like this video if you're inspired to try something new. And if you also cannot wait to see what the finished product, I can't wait to show you. But hold on, hold on, because I wanna give you a tour of what it looks like right now and then also show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm.